Meanwhile, Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Shastney has welcomed the reopening of the second school term to the physical setting. Noting the importance of returning students to the classroom, Honorable Shastney says he is proud of all stakeholders in the education sector, including the St. Lucia Teachers Union. Why am I proud? I'm proud of the fact that we have not complained and tried to develop protocols to allow kids to get back to school. I don't think any one of us can argue the importance of that. Going around and just meeting kids. Some kids, I have to say to you, have really excelled on the online schooling. I've heard of some kids who were not doing well prior in the old system and have really just been able to take advantage. But sadly, I think that those are too far and few between. A lot of the kids are missing the interaction. We also know that parents themselves are struggling with the anxiety of what's taking place economically and then having their little ones at home and the pressure that's being put on them to assist these kids, their kids, um, in their uh, uh, homework and in their education. Let's not underestimate the impact that that has had. Adhering to the protocols Prime Minister Shatney says ensures protection, as was the case at the Castries Comprehensive Secondary School, where a student tested positive for COVID-19 last September. Honorable Shastney says all information shows that the student did not affect anyone at the school. We also know that the child who was affected did not get COVID on one of the school campuses. In fact, he brought it in with him. And so therefore, again, it's reinforcement that the protocols worked. I am proud of the fact that when we discovered that, the immediate decision was to suspend school because we didn't want to put anyone in harm's way. So I want to reassure all the parents and the children that this government will always put you at the top of the pyramid and your health and safety. But also, as we have said nationally, that this is about not only saving lives, but saving livelihoods. Going to school is a livelihood. And when you think of the amount of time that kids have had to be out of classrooms, and if in fact that the country has been successful enough in its protocols that the CMO believes that there is no imminent threat, then we should take advantage of the hard work that we've put in here and try to get our kids back to school. The Prime Minister says he understands some parents may be apprehensive about sending their children back to school, but he hopes within a short time they will build confidence in the knowledge that the protocols work and do protect.